Hi, thanks for joining me. This week we are covering There Is No Heaven or Hell. But before we start, be sure to like and subscribe for the remaining videos like this and more of my videos centering on faith, health, and beauty. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and God called the firmament heaven, and God called the dry land earth. You can refer to Genesis chapter 1, verses 1, 8, and 10. Now, isn't it interesting for the first thing God chooses to tell us is that these were the first two things he created? There are plenty of other things he created. So why do you think he chose to do this? Well, the Apostle Paul tells us in Romans 14, verse 4, For whatsoever thing were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Now imagine that. God told us there is a heaven for our learning so that we may know that such a place exists. Next he follows this with and the earth. He created the heaven and the earth. We walk, eat, sleep, love, hate, procreate, and, and just about every other action we take is done on earth. We can see it, feel it, smell it, plow it, hear it, rumble during an earthquake. We know without a doubt it is real and no one could ever convince us otherwise. Now, what about heaven? God stated he created heaven and earth. Not heaven or earth, not heaven and maybe earth, not heaven is not real, but earth is real. He said the heaven and the earth. So for all of you individuals, use your deductive reasoning skills. If he made the earth, which he did on the second day, and it is real, then it must follow that the heaven, which he said he made on the third day, is real as well. Let's try it your way, shall we? God made the heaven and the earth. The earth is real, therefore heaven must be real. Now with this knowledge, we may, through salvation and by obedience to his commandments, statutes, judgments, and testimonies, have hope of being in this very real heaven one day. Refer to 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 3. Conversely, if we do not receive salvation or obey his laws, God has created a place chosen especially for the unrepentant and their father, the devil. Revelation 20 verses 12 through 15. Now many books of the Bible mention hell when speaking of sinners who chose to ignore the knock of God at their door while alive and die without repenting and receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This is not an urban legend or a myth to scare you. Hell is real. How can we know this for sure? Well, God made the heaven and the earth. We've already covered that. And if the earth is real, then it stands by deductive reasoning, heaven is real as well. Now, if heaven and earth are real, then hell must be a really unpleasant place. Let's try it your way again. God made the heaven and the earth. The earth is real, therefore heaven must be real. Secondly, hell is the polar opposite of heaven created by God. God made the heavens and the earth. Earth is real. Heaven is real. We've come to that conclusion by deductive reasoning. Therefore, hell must be real. Now, I'm not a betting person myself, but with 50-50 odds like this, I'd rather through patience and comfort of the scriptures, I have hope. What about you? Are you willing to bet yourself? If this has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And I welcome your comments below, whether you're pro or or against this message I'm really always interested in hearing what you have to say and be sure to stay tuned next week this really gonna be an interesting topic stay tuned for more videos like this as well as my other videos sitting on faith health and beauty all year long thank you for watching have a fantastic weekend be sure to have fun and to God be the glory. See you next time.